Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE, covering EMC World 2015. Brought to you by EMC, Brocade, and VCE. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live in Las Vegas for EMC World 2015. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube, our flagship program. Where we go out to the events and extract the signal noise. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Dave Vellante. Our next guest is Jesse Brash at Evolution One Team, VP of Infrastructure and Operations, Evolution One. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much. Uh, so first, before we get into it, tell us about Evolution One. What do you guys do? What's your core job? What are you guys doing here? Give us a little overview of the company. Well, I think in, in a simple way of stating it, it's uh, simplifying healthcare spending. So we offer an array of product lines like HSA and FSA spending accounts, defined contribution for retirement planning, things around, and deliver that through a SaaS solution, allowing our partners to administer uh, to you know, over 13 million consumers um, you know, in efforts to kind of combat the complexity of healthcare today. Noble mission, obviously everyone is uh, hot on healthcare. I mean, IBM's mm -hmm. CEO is like, healthcare is the biggest opportunity that they see as a company, everyone kind of agrees. Uh, at the same time, SaaS is the business model of the cloud, right? So True. you're seeing that a lot of people are trying to figure that out. So share with us your learnings from SaaS. Does it disrupt and innovate? What do you guys experience with that? How do you guys organize around that? I mean, how do you take the view? Is it pure DevOps? Is it migrate slowly? I mean, healthcare, you'd love a rip and replace and start all over, but sure, it's hard. So share, share those your SaaS approach and what you've learned. Well, I think the power of any SaaS solution is going to be the capabilities of how well you can integrate. Uh, every one of our partners has their own unique needs, their own re unique uh, uh, security guidelines and things to help protect the, the patient or any of the data that we store. Um, you know, the challenges that we have from a SaaS organization is really speed of scale. Uh, obviously, security is at our forefront of everything we do around, uh, you know, data and the protection of such. You know, and lastly, you know, you look at um, just the growth um, as the more and more requirements are, are brought forward in the market. You know, how we handle those through innovation and our release um, of new product offerings in the SaaS, that puts, you know, more stress on the systems. Um, so not only are you forced with the security and scale, comp you know, issues that any company today is, you know, has to deal with, but just the innovation that we offer within a SaaS platform uh, grows that, you know, two to three x each year. I mean, you know, the poster childs of uh, children of SaaS, uh, you know, Salesforce, you got ServiceNow. We were at their conference mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago, so the, you get very high growth. Uh, you've got to scale out your business. So how do you build an infrastructure that that scales out? I mean, obviously we're going to talk about where EMC fits, but forgetting about the products for a second, from an mm -hmm. architectural standpoint, how does your company uh, approach that? Well, What's I think the philosophy our, there? You know, in the last couple of years, our philosophy has been simplifying um, the management of our infrastructure. You know, outside of product talk, uh, picking the right technology for the right workloads, so that each of them can flex or grow independently, and not have to worry about you know the overarching uh, design or the infrastructure supporting it as a whole. So by taking a federated approach within our solution, you know whether our certain business services are within this platform or this uh, type of storage is dealing with this workload, it, it gives our capabilities um, kind of a complex, but you know it's a multi-dimensional capability of scale. So that's kind of a horses for courses strategy, mm -hmm. um, which I get. Okay, yeah. but the but the age-old debate is okay. Should I homogenize or should I go for the best of breed based on, on workload? So where should I be homogeneous and thinking about that and, and where do you apply kind of kind of best of breed and how do you integrate all that stuff together? Well one of the approaches that we found from an integration standpoint is you know obviously picking the right partner uh, and the technologies that they offer, EMC. Um, we've also brought other, you know their partner uh, around VCE. Uh, tools from RSA. So kind of having that uh, approach where it's not necessarily one platform or one solution, but picking the best of breed within each of those areas of that product family. Now each of those product families overlap, but you know, picking the right one for the right workload and having a partner like, you know, around EMC with their product solutions, with their advanced software and their management tools, being able to help us simplify, you know, kind of the complexities then when you have a lot of different uh, solutions to manage. So the fact that it's one company, is, well, there's a little one throat to choke there. Is a know, big, from a support. big factor, you're saying? Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, yeah. all right, so what's happening in your business? Um, you talked about SaaS, you talked about you know, health, changes in healthcare, 
Talk about the changes in your business. We heard this morning about sure. digitization of all these businesses. You guys are on a growth trajectory. Talk about the dynamics of your business. Well, you know, we take apart and we get away from the speed, the scale, and security element of the infrastructure. Um, you know, and what our business is doing within the SaaS and what my teams deliver on is, is, is simplifying our approach to how we manage that so that we can work on projects that are going to help drive those types of activities that we want to deliver, whether that be items that EMC has been talking about the last year around the third platform. You know, we have a very aggressive mobile approach. The analytics and the big data aspect of what we deliver um, within our SaaS, providing that across our book of business is an area of focus of ours in the next year or two on how we can use our data um, to help our partners become more nimble uh, and, and adjust to kind of how the trends are going within the market. So I think that third platform approach, you know, is really where we're driving our, our, our SaaS solution towards, enablement of the mobile, and then making the best use of all the data that we have within the SaaS. So, we were talking off camera, you have VCE, Extreme IO, you got some VNX, Atmos, you got Data Domain. Yes, Viper. it might be easier to say what we don't have. Yeah, we yes, have. we have a yeah. very uh, federated a approach. Yes, we do. You got a VMAX? Yeah. No kidding. We do. Okay. You have VPlex in there? No, no uh, today we don't. Okay, you so know. that's not a strategy yet, anyway. Well, it is, but we took an approach over the last three years kind of aligning our, our goals um, from a foundational level up. So as we've re uh, poured our foundation to host our solutions, um, we've worked towards recovery as an integration between our two data centers. You know, we could you know, very easily go with some of the advanced features, which I would consider third phase type activities where we had to fix some of our plumbing before we'd start talking about things around VPlex and in software defined data center um, speed. Do you tap EMC services or you're pretty much doing it in-house or? Oh no, we leverage uh, EMC services not only uh, through kind of our uh, architectural committees. I mean, they're the, the SEs, the architects within EMC are, are considered team members within our company. So, you know, quarterly meetings aren't just where we engage, you know. The semi-annual business reviews is not the traditional EMC approach. I mean, we have daily, weekly conversations with our team. Um, almost every one of our projects and technologies have some sort of service offering around that, um, whether it be VCE services to help upgrade our core infrastructure, or advanced software professional services to help us refine um, SRM and how we manage the system. And, and, and how are you using Flash? I wonder if you could take us back to, the Flash. everybody who said Flash is going to change the world, Flash is going to change the world. It sounds like it's changing your, your world. Definitely. Take us back to when you brought Extreme IO in. So it, it, last year we were at a kind of a crossroads as we were looking at a production data center and um, you know making the decision, do we continue down a VMAX strategy, um, which our secondary DR and corporate environment is all running predominantly VMAX. And really it was a opportunity to see the advancements in which um, you know, the data protection suite was uh, coming forward, the advanced features that they were going to roll out in 3.0 and 4.0 to really put Extreme IO in a place where we could really put that as our single block array uh, within production. So this year we're, we've uh, deployed a VBlock 540 um, and we're running all Extreme IO. Now, we did mention some other storage lines, so we're not running everything there in Extreme, but the right workload uh, fits well. It's our application and our database tech running on SQL Server. Talk about the costs involved. I mean, talk about st storage tiering, SaaS, you've got to be agile. Mm -hmm. um, what are the alternative? If you wanted to go with outside with competition of EMC, what would be like the alternative cost? Because you got to be nimble, you got to handle integration, you got workloads, you got healthcare, you got payments, all cutting edge stuff on one hand, but yet blocking and tackling on the other. What's mm -hmm. the What's the cost, the hidden costs that are that are solved, that are there that people might not see when they look at something similar? Well, I think the, the hidden cost is obviously um, the speed in which you, you try to adopt any of those um, items. Because while we're you know, reinventing our infrastructure from the ground level up, you know, we still have operationally uh, the support of a software as a service solution you know, to close to 13 million consumers. Um, you know, and, and just picking the right cadence, and uh, you know, training was a big area. You know, in 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 working with our operations teams and retooling our engineers to kind of cross-platform manage a lot of these systems. Um, that was a that was a big cost. And how we, you know, you take your traditional storage admin, and now you're asking that in, 
individual to kind of manage across you know, that software element of the complete solution, uh, no matter what type of storage array or compute or networking. So th that was a big, we probably under, underestimated that, that hit to how our, you know, the culture of our infrastructure and our ops teams were going to handle the change. How do you manage the complexity of the different platforms in a, in a way that keeps operations from being disrupted at the same time providing the value? Well, while it seems complex from the outside in, uh, from the inside, I think we've simplified. Um, we're no longer having to worry about your traditional tiering design or worrying about um, you know, file storage. You know, we, we've compartmentalized our, our approach to how we handle IT and we've enabled things like in leveraging Atmos, for instance, you know, the Atmos API and the advanced solutions that we can kind of wrap around that, even to our development org, um, found rewards to, you know, enabling a platform for content storage. Um, you know, but having then the right tools, when you have a, a single partner and selecting the best uh, solutions across that, the management is, I, I think, in a simp becomes a little more simpler. You know, while we federate out and it becomes more things to manage, the responsibility for that vendor to provide you a cross-platform tool to manage across those those devices um, is, is a key cost driver for making that decision. Outcomes, business outcomes, what, what can you... I think it's been an, it's been an I mean, We've seen from 40 to 50% improvement in a lot of our core offerings, just with some of the storage that we've in place, obviously Extreme IO, and that's Workhorse and Beast earlier today on what that can deliver for database technologies and your traditional web applications. But we uh, we found as well uh, the ability for us to bring features to the marketplace with some of the just out of the box things that EMC provides with their solution set, where we don't have to write our own code to do those, those so features. So these are improvements and services that you can monetize. Is that Definitely, right? yeah. Hey, we got to go, but I want to get the, the final, give you the final word. Since EMC created this roadmap, share with other potential customers what uh, you guys can, what they could get out of uh, redefining their storage infrastructure with EMC. Well, I think every every solution provider is going to have their their best of breed and competition, and I think EMC's product product um, grown immensely from from the story of how they're tying it all together with security and management. You know, you, you, you can't find that in, in other technologies. I mean, everybody's going to have something where they want to attack a certain point of that of that portfolio. Um, but really, what's changed in the differentiator for us has been the culture within to partner with us and help um, make elections versus just turning around and handing us a quote and asking us to buy more disk. <laughs> it's been more a, a holistic approach to IT and that's been a complete difference that I, I haven't seen any of their competitors be able to deliver. Okay, Jesse, thanks so much. Jesse Brash, the VP of Infrastructure and Operations at Evolution One. Uh, EMC, holistic approach, not just uh, pushing gear and boxes. Um, thanks for coming on theCUBE. You guys have a real innovative business model. SaaS is the preferred approach uh, in this cloud era here at EMC World 2015. We'll be right back with more on theCUBE after this short break. <laughs>